A disclaimer this video is made for knowledge purpose no harmful dangerous content in this video i will show the official open source way to use we are not promoting any illegal activity it's an official open source way to use this size you are back with an interesting and most important video and today in this video i'm going to talk about how to install open source application on any android tv google tv what open source application yeah guys i'm not going to take off that application name but I'm talking about the application which is mentioned on thumbnail. I think you understand. But before we move on the process, if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. You will get a lot of interesting stuff. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. So guys, this is my Google TV, but the process is same for Google TV and Android TV. Okay. So first of all, you need to came on any Android device. I mean Android phone and simply you need to search this open source website. I will provide link of this open source website on description. So you can simply visit on this website. As we can see, this is 101% legal and open source. Okay. So simply scroll this website and when you see the installation section, so here it is that installation section and we have a four different things. A R M E A B I V seven A first thing. Second is A R M 64 V eight A, but 90% devices work on this first option. So go with first option. That means this ARM 7A. Okay. Click on this ARM 7A. After that, it will redirect you on second page. Then click scroll down, then click on this download option. Then it will ask you download or it will download automatically. So in my case, I downloaded already. So I'm not going to redownload this application. Now you need to install this both applications Z archiver and send files to TV. Okay. These applications available on Play Store. Simply download it, search it and download it. After that, open the ZIOCR application. And as we can see here, it is the uh, zip file which we downloaded previously, ARM7A, right? Then click on once, then click on extract here. It will extract this. And after extraction complete, you can see this application. Okay, so you need to transfer this ARM7A application on your Android TV. So simply open the send files application on your Android phone. Okay. and click on send but note that one important point your android tv and your android uh, phone connected with same connection of wi-fi note this point okay now came on your android tv google tv then click on send files to tv application open this application download this application from play store which application send files to tv download this application from play store search it you will find uh, you will found it okay after that uh you need to open the send file application on android tv then click on receive button okay now came on your android phone and simply you need to open that send file application on your android phone so i am show you again wait so i close this application again open it then click on next button i mean send button then go on download section and here it is the application which we extracted then click on your device select your device and after that the application is going to transfer on your Android TV. So it will take a little bit of time because the application size is little bit high. Okay. So wait until the application is fully transferred successfully on your Android TV. Okay. Finally, the application is transferred successfully on our Android TV. Now what is next? Now take your remote and just uh, navigate this app and click on OK. Just click on OK. Okay. Just click on OK. Now click on open and note one important point. If it asks you some permission, then give it. Okay. It you it asks you click on unknown uh, permission, unknown source app, enable toggle that toggle. Okay. Note this point. Now click on install. Okay. Okay. It will going to install. It will take a little bit of seconds because the app size is a little bit more, right? Okay. App is successfully installed. Then click on open, click on okay button on open. Now it will take a little bit of more seconds when you going to open this app because it going to load on your Android TV. So it will take a little bit of time for first time only. Okay, as we can see, uh, it asks you sign in your Google account. So you can sign in your Google account with uh, your email ID. Okay, just click on sign in with um, phone. Just that's it. 
uh, or you can go with guest ID. So I'm going to go with guest ID, okay, for showing you. So as we can see here it is, I'm not logging my email ID, but don't worry, it is 101% legal and safe. Okay, you can log in with your Google ID, but I am not going to log in because it will take a little bit of time, but I don't want to waste your time. So simply I'm showing you the options which is present on this app. As we can see here, it is a lot of options. I'm not going to play anything. Please understand why I'm saying this. Okay, and here it is a different type of settings options is present. So this is the video. If you like this video, then please like and share this video. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press bell icon. You will get a lot of this type of interesting stuff on our channel. Okay. So this is the video. And one important point, if the shortcut is not going to add automatically, it will take a little bit of seconds. Uh, I mean, this is my Google TV now. So as we can see, the shortcut is added automatically. If not, this shortcut is going to add, then simply wait some seconds after opening the app. It will add automatically or you can manually add it. So see you in the next video. Love you guys. Goodbye. Take care.